Have you ever attended a rock concert and been amazed by the experience? Concerts and festivals require an entire team of managers, sound engineers, lighting technicians, special effects, and stage designers. I've always loved shows. Like, I love going to see bands and always have since I was a kid. When I came to ACC, I realized that live sound was actually like a like its own focus instead of just like broadly being audio engineering, and I didn't know that. So that was really cool that I was able to learn how to do that. I've learned more about the music industry in the year and a half that I spent here at ACC than I did the previous two years at Berkeley and those in those five years at Boston in Boston. I mean, in a couple of classes, they just let all stops out, no secrets, from legal aspects to copyright laws to all that stuff that you think you know about, and you and you go online and everyone's arguing about it. There are there are hard facts, especially with copyright laws, that this is how it works, and they just let you know. So now you're not in the dark anymore. You know how that works. One of the best places to learn music industry skills is the Music Business Performance and Technology Program at Austin Community College. This two-year associate degree program offers a wide range of valuable resources and the information necessary to succeed in the music industry. We changed the name from commercial music because we thought people didn't understand what we were. We changed it to Music Business Performance and Technology because that basically is what we do. We wanted it to be in the title. so. We're all about the performance of music, uh, the music business, and all the technology that's involved in that, which would include audio engineering, synthesis, uh, live sound, etc. I've been here, I think this is my 15th or 16th year. Oh, a little bit over 10 years now. Yeah. I was engineering records, uh, been a musician my entire life, pretty much. I've been working professionally as a recording engineer and producer and musician for about 20 years now. The instructors in the program at ACC have many years of professional experience in the music industry. Many of them have worked for major labels such as A&M Records, Universal Music Publishing, Walt Disney, Arista, and Island. I do a lot of classical recording, and I also enjoy doing live recordings. My, my favorite kind of recording is live. So I've done a lot of that before I started teaching here at ACC, uh, both in Austin and in Atlanta. I did a lot of that stuff. I really respect the teachers that are here. Uh, I think that's a great group of teachers that, you know, what makes us unique, I always tell people, is that everybody, all the teachers, we all do this in some form or another, whether, you know, somebody doing electronic music or somebody doing uh, video production or songwriting, but we all do this. Stereo spread, when you, we do something in stereo, usually it's two or more mics and can stretch out an image and make it a lot larger than it normally is, right? This is not stereo guitars, by the way. Why not? Two separate, one mic on it, a mono. One mic is mono. Two or more mics make it stereo, right? So things that we might do in stereo, like piano. I love it. I love all the professors, especially the community that it brings about. There's so many opportunities to work together within the system that you just create all these contacts before you even have to step out into the world. I think the, uh, the instructors uh, bring a lot of knowledge to the uh, teaching environment, the learning environment, and uh, that seems to be the best. They have actual experience in what they do. Anyone looking to enter the music industry should be aware that there are several fields to consider. The main ones being music production, music publishing, live sound, location sound, entertainment law, and artist management. With, with the convergence of entertainment technologies and, and arts, um, our students could work on anything from video games to movies to live concerts to recording sessions to, to you name it. The world's their oyster. I personally got a lot out of live sound. Probably live sound, that's probably where you should start. That's where most audio engineers start. Marketing is actually a really big in this industry. Opportunities in live sound, I think, uh, are the best. A songwriter, 
um, a musician, just period. You could be a professional recording musician. Live sound is always a great opportunity because there are clubs. I would definitely say more of the production side. The social media is a big thing to me. Oh, live music comes to mind almost immediately. I've met a lot of people who do contracting for like festival production and um, a lot of people who do artist management. Well, management covers a lot, but there's booking. You could be a music publisher and own own songs. Um, or even uh, signing artists and stuff like that. The more you can do, the better off you are because the, the more opportunity there will be for you. There's so many possibilities, whether you have music skills or not. We have a theory about education over here that says that the degree has to be relevant to the student, which is unusual because I think most colleges think it's the other way around. Um, so we, though we have a basic degree, we keep five of the electives as restricted to music business performance and technology classes without actually naming those classes because we want students to pursue the, the classes that they wish to take to enhance their careers. Booking, law, there are so many different sides of music. There's so many different things that you can do. And the more you know, the more it's going to help you. Take a bunch of classes. Take an audio class. Take a MIDI class. Uh, take a synth class. Um, take a live sound class, of course. Right? That should get you started. And of course, talk to Joy and talk to Jeffrey, of course. Um, I think the most important thing, if you really want to do any of this stuff in the industry, as we like to say, is you have to be diverse. Because I think it's really challenging, especially now, to say, I'm only going to X. You know, I'm only going to do live sound. I'm only going to be a guitar player. I'm only going to be an artist. I'm only going to engineer. Even if you're, uh, it seems like what you want to do is very specific, and, you know, I'm just interested in engineering. That's what I want to do. I highly suggest you learn as many different skills as you can. Songwriting, you know, production, a lot, a lot of different things. Now that you've seen some of the employment opportunities in the music industry, you may be wondering what the keys to success are. Let's take a look at this for some advice. In this industry, you got to learn to have thick skin and you've got to learn to be persistent and hardworking and uh, learn to keep late hours. Sleep whenever you can. <laughs> people skills are pretty important, so I would say people skills are definitely up there. That's something people don't think about. It doesn't matter how technically proficient you are. It doesn't matter how amazing you are, how fast you are at editing in Pro Tools and uh, in tracking, mixing, all those things, if you don't know how to work with people. Don't think you're awesome. <laughs> um, because there's so many awesome people. I mean, you, you really got to be friendly. And just just get the job done. Just be quick, be smart. I think consistency is the best advice I could give to anybody that's trying to pursue a music career. It's like, you can't just expect to like do something one time and then that's it. Like, there's got to be a constant flow of creativity. Being on time, being responsible, things that musicians usually aren't. If you can do those things, you'll succeed. People skills is probably the most important part of making a record and of being in the music business. It's all about personality, the way you handle yourself in a session or around the business. You've got to make sure that you're always on your top. Watch what you say, how you say it, and what you say to someone. And if you don't have good people skills, I'm sorry. I don't care how good you are on your craft. It is not going to get you to the next level. I definitely think this is not an opportunity I would have gotten in Dallas or, or anywhere else, really. It's very unique because the Austin culture, just everybody talks to each other, and it's such a, a tight-knit group that you once you're in, you you just explode, and you go kind of everywhere at once. I think that this... We, this is the greatest city for doing what we're trying to do in the entire United States. I really believe that. I think it would be a much more difficult battle in any other city. I think it's, it, I almost feel like Austin sort of created this.